What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. You got Harris, you got Justin. It is now time for the Glory Season 2, Episode 2, yep, or that's... Episode 8, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah, whatever <laughs> you want to call it. Uh, well, all we know is we got seven episodes left, including or this episode, one, right? It's Episode 10, right? Yeah. My bad. <laughs> Why did so, I say 8? I don't know. Yeah, so we got... We just started the second half, and last uh, episode kind of was a great way to start. We got a lot of stuff, right? We definitely progressed the story forward. We figured out that Do Young now knows that uh, Jae Jun and Yan Jin were sleeping around, and definitely he yeah knows in deep down that Yi Seo is probably not his. He doesn't have it confirmed, right? But he knows. I think when like the the colorblind this fact like rolls up in his face again, it's definitely gonna be like a. Uh... The, the straight hard 100%, you know? Yeah, they, that's, there's... Because that's, def that's hereditary. For sure. And there's definitely going to be... It seems like we know how everything's kind of setting up now. We know that Jae Jun and Do Young are going to be, like, at e like going at each other. And that's, like, what Don Eun wanted. And then we obviously know Hae Jung, Sara, and Yan Jin are, like, kind of just yeah. crumbling at the scenes, which is also what she wanted. And now it's kind of like all these different, like in the game of Go, right? All these different places. She's kind of claiming territories, the analogy they use. And she's just breaking down each house slowly and mm -hmm. uh, but surely. So we already have the friend destruction. We have Do Young. And, but, but I will say that Yan Jin did kind of make, I guess, her offensive move at the end of last episode, which to me is the most important thing. I need to make sure. It, it <laughs> is. It is the most important. I'm definitely scared. You know, she finally tracked uh, Miss Nam. Uh, outside that parking lot, the meetup spot, the usual spot where they usually hang out and stuff. So I just wonder how she's gonna strike back. I hope she doesn't strike back. That's what I'll say. But like yeah, you said, I'm just I... saying it's gonna happen yeah. though. You can't you can't take W's every single episode after that like super dub fucking speech Not... that uh, Dong Un gave at the coffee shop. Like I'll never forget that. Same power flex move, mic drop, literally incredible scene and. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite Miss Nam, but we'll have to see. And I guess the last thing we'll talk about before we kind of get into it is that we figured out Sohee was pregnant. Yes. Um, and I guess one other thing, it kind of connects to um, Yojong, where we figured out his dad moved her to the freezer. So the question is, how is his dad involved? Was this connection mm -hmm. going way back from like 18 years ago that the dad, his dad has been connected this whole time? And this is like, oh... Yo Jong wasn't just some random person, right? That was supposed to be introduced to be her executioner. He was always connected to it. I guess, like, that would just be like... I, I could see that happening because, you know, K-dramas like to say, oh, the past connects the future. You know, we watch so many K-dramas like that now. I would not be surprised. But uh, that was something that was inter interestingly placed. And I guess the other thing is that Yo Jong and Dong Un are now kind of living together, taking their relationship to the next step, right? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, he built the tent for her and the downstairs, which is very nice to see. And um, they kind of like were uh, flirting, I guess, quote unquote, uh, at, when they were eating and stuff. So he was uh, for sure. <laughs> she was yeah, trying he was, not he was, to. He's, he's down bad. He's you know he's shooting his shot. It's like me with Sejong. You know, <laughs> hey, I can I can only, I can only commend the guy. You know what I'm saying? Um, always shoot your shot for a queen. Like, come on. What can you do? <laughs> I, ha I have no comments about that. We're just, I'm ready to go. Okay, buddy. I'm ready to go. I'm ready okay, to go. Okay, buddy. All right, it'd be like that. Um, if you've been liking the glory, drop a like, subscribe, and then join the Patreon because we have the full episode start to finish on there. Uh, we're ahead, and then you can see shows and movies that have not made it to YouTube yet. So, as always, it is in the description box down below. And with that, let's get started on this, uh, this next episode. Oh, my God. Yeah, look wow. at all those bags. You know what they do in the fitting room. Who knows, that sofa has probably seen a lot of fucking work. Don't put a black light to it. <laughs> Make sure you put your glasses on. Let's, uh, Gordon Ramsay are going to walk in and be like, this light shows bodily fluids. I feel bad for him. His whole yeah. world is kind of like crashing down. It's it's, it's glass shattering. You yeah. Know? Oh, shit. Okay, stand up for yourself. Yeah. Oh shit, her oh, no. daughter. Whoa! Can you deck this girl? Dude, once a bully, always a bully. 
Oh, does she already have the number saved? Oh, she does. <laughs> bitch, we'll end up in a ditch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh no, I hope she doesn't get like upset. Uh... Oh no. Dude, she just put it all together. Yeah, this is what we talked about. She's gonna try to flip her. Oh boy. Oh, they're running. She, she doesn't know all these things about her mom. She's kind of like, whoa, when did my mom become badass? Dude, just is literally like spy talk. You're like, yeah, it's so freaking yeah, cool. you're so fucking awesome. Uh, yeah, Damn. she's gone off the grid. It's probably smart. Oh my oh, god. Oh, not this fucking coconut head. Oh, is he like hazing her now? Yeah, is he being a dick? Dude, she doesn't Dude, want to go dead. out with you. That dude is fucking gross. What? What? Uh, jae has got the money. Oh, her mom. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, Yeonjin is actually going on the offensive this episode. This is like literally Yeonjin's counterattack. Is her mom gonna get her fired? Dude. You, really? You really didn't think your daughter could? Come on. Dude, she's probably thinking in her ha mind like, wait, my daughter's teaching at a private school? I can get some money? Exactly. That she's probably was like, I could go get some money from my daughter. Oh boy. She's gonna get her fired. Yeah. She pulled up to her house? That, that's right, get her out yeah. of your property. Get, the, get her the fuck out of here, bro. Out. Get out. Uh, th this is this is just getting painful again. Yo, this actually surprised her. She looks kind of shook. Only by blood. That's it. Dude, she she like a cockroach. She she is, yeah. Oh, oh, a shot back. The bag, that's... You could say your husband gave me that bag. <laughs> yeah, you want to know who that man is? Oh. Yeah. No context. No context. Yeah. Just literally no context. Yeah. Oh my god. Alright. Yep. There, there you go. Okay. That was a good one. That's it. Oh shit, man. Oh fuck. Call an ambulance, but not for me. Oh, well, that wasn't part of the plan. He wasn't supposed to do that. Oh. Oh, shit! Is he actually gonna kill him? Damn. Oh, they, they planned this? 
이모님의 존재를 눈치챘을지도 모르겠어. Oh, so she knew she got the phone call right before Yanjun showed up. But she chose to stay. Yeah. Interesting. So she could be a double agent. She go work for Yanjin but then report back to Dongun. 혹시나 그 내가 박연진이한테 홀라당 붙었을지도 모른다. Nope. Never a doubt. 우리 선아 좀 부탁드려요. Yeah, she's sending her to the US. Hmm. 전 오늘부터 박연진의 사람이에요. 운동은 씨. Yeah. <laughs> she laughed. Yeah. Look at that like, nice moment. Wow. Fuck's sake. No, she is. She is like A plus character. Yeah. That's kind of like saying the life she didn't get to live, just like live the earlier life, be a kid. It's good that Dongun can help people that don't get the chance to be helped, right? She's she's basically being the person that nobody was there to help her, right? When she was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how's this gonna go? This is the first interaction since we've seen. Okay, yeah, this answers our question. He still cares about you, Seo. Wow, I Shit. I guess he still cares about Yanjin, right? Because I guess he was saying there, like, if you even cared at all, you would have cared about me and your daughter and tried to be like, oh, how is this going to affect them? But no, you didn't give any shit because you only cared about yourself. Wait, isn't that the day Myungo went missing? Oh my oh, god, she killed him no. in here. She killed him in here. Oh shit. Are you trying to seem guilty? Well, <laughs> when you say it like that, I think you are trying to be a... Uh... <laughs> Paint yourself on there. Are you trying to get him on your tail? What was that? Okay, he's, he figured it out. He figured out Dong Un is, sent him those pictures. Oh, she, he was, she went back. Oh, she's getting a procedure. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah? I don't think anybody can forgive what you did, okay? Oh, she wore a sleeveless. Oh, oh she did that on purpose to show. Yeah, yep. show what happened. Yep. Yeah, your wife did that. Yep. Dude, this music, yeah, this they're gonna is, fuck her up. So they're scary, gonna fuck her up. <laughs> What? What? Oh god. Oh fuck! Dude. Having a doctor on your side is low key scary. It's oh my god. Oh, we're about to find out what happened. Yeah. Literally in the f actually in the fitting group, okay. Oh, dumbass. Why did you put your phone on silent? Oh, that was that was Dr. Joe because he was the last person who called, right? That was oh, him. Oh, yeah. Why the That's hell was he, he calling? Him out. Wow, she knew he was. Yep. Dude, that's why you put your phone on silent. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how her name tag is evidence. Okay. Oh, real? oh wow. Yeah. And this is the moment she killed him. <laughs> this is the moment. Yeah. Your joke. Your joke resulted in that. Oh, that was his, like, tell to get her to confess, basically. Yeah. 
Oh! oh. I heard splatter. Yeah, she cracked him cold. Yeah. Oh. Wow. What the fuck? How hard was that bottle? I guess it's one of those metal bottles. Oh, she she confessing this? Cause she's under. Oh my god. <laughs> No, nah, that is low-key terrifying though. That Goodness. is fucked, man. Look at him smile. It's like, yeah, what's up? Fucking chuckling. Oh my god, dude. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> I just don't know what to say after that. <laughs> we figured out a few things. We figured out how Miango died. Um, we figured out that Yanjin has been covering it up. And yeah. we figured out that Yanjin also believes that there's evidence that can be used against her for the Sohi incident. So, so there is something that can be used against her. I've, so uh, that name tag is actually, I mean, it has to be it though. At which we know her mom has from last episode. But, but the question mm -hmm. is like, how can that even be used? That's been 18 years. Is DNA st is still even on it? That would be the only thing. Is Sohi's DNA like, you know, is there like a fingernail, hair, anything on Yanjin's name tag? Because that's then I, I could see how you could like spin it like, wait, why is Sohi's DNA on this? Yes. But otherwise, I have no idea how that name tag can put her on the scene of the crime. But yeah, I guess we'll have to see because that is clearly, like you said, a big part to play. The fact that it's been kept and that they showed us it with Yanjin's mom has to play an important role. So. I guess we'll see that and we have the confession now so well you can't even you can't use the confession in like court so i'm not sure how they're going to use that um can i guess they could blackmail her with it kind of like you know miyungo was blackmailing uh her with sohi's thing like hey or she could release it to the internet that's possible too right but that is also yeah i could see that and then like just because she's a she's a public figure right? yeah. she's a weather person yeah. so that's if any any sort of scandal can result in just tarnishing of her reputation, that's that's honestly just death right there in the coffin, like right there, hit the nail in the coffin. That's true. We know the internet is a powerful tool, so that's honestly that's probably what she's gonna do. Is like just release it to the internet because she might not be able to go to jail for it, but she could send her to jail some other way. But she could, like you said, destroy her reputation that way, which we know Dong Moon just wants to systematically take her down. She's already gone through the friends. This episode, we saw the effect. Well, I, actually, I don't even know if we saw the effect because I'm not sure what Do Young wants to do. This was kind of confusing. He had his first talk with her since finding out all the information, right? But it didn't go the way I expected. It was like he was very, he was angry, obviously, but he didn't he was. blow up the way I thought he was or be like demonstrative like, hey, I'm leaving you. He, he was very coy about it. So, and he called Dong Un for a meeting. So I don't know if he wants to meet with Dong Un to, like... Reconfirm? Yeah. Like, everything? Because... And then see where it goes from here? Because, I mean... He he has been in a relationship with her, we know, for 12 years, right? So it's not like he's just going to throw away all those 12 years. Exactly. He still believes there's something, like, that can happen. Yeah. And he did... He probably still loves her, right? Even though this is... She did and a terrible daughter. thing. Yes. And he loves Yisyo, even though it's not biologically his, it's still... He still no. views her as his daughter, which is very admirable. And it, at the end of the day, he did raise her, right? That is his yep. daughter. And as we saw in that scene, he still wants to care for her. And he understands that all this that's happening to Yanjin also affects Yisio. So that's why he was saying to her, if you even cared about the, us, you would have been like, hey, let me try to Make resolve some this. Some sort of and amends. Like, yeah. Except like I did this. I'm guilty and just tried to make uh, fix this. So that it doesn't affect my family but like he said she did not care about any of that it was only about oh uh, that bitch is my problem i'm gonna like all these toxic things and things that make her the character that she is right she's just evil that's like what they're yes. trying to show us she has and no she had an opportunity yeah. to try to make it right last episode and that didn't happen and but i will say she did go on the offensive this episode though to be she, she did she tried to get Miss Nam, but as we figured out, Miss Nam's got double agent. She's gonna pretend to work for Yajid, then I guess report back to Dong Yoon. 
Um, and, and got the mom involved. Yeah, so we don't know how that's going to play because it looks like uh, Dangun put her mom in her old place now. So yeah, we don't know what's going to go on there. We know Dangun's mom's mission is to get her fired. So yes, we'll see how far she can push it. Um, but yeah, things are starting to now heat up, go back and forth. That ending was pretty crazy. Honestly, we have that confession. I wonder if Yanjin can sue him. I guess she can't prove it, right? That's an interesting thing. Like, can she prove that, like, what... Because he could say, I did a filler, right? But he probably did do a filler, because that's what the procedure was, right? So he could be like, oh, no, I did this right here, and he can prove it. I wonder if yeah. they record operations. They, I... Uh, I don't think so, right? I'm not entirely sure. I would assume no, but... Patient confidentiality, right? Yes, but I... I, I don't know if like they have records because you might not be able to show it but like if you get a subpoena from a courtroom or something or like something like that well a warrant so that can you get these documents like is it required by law for you to record it but you can't show it like you said because of patient confidentiality but you have to have these records just in case you get um a warrant or something out on you so that you could prove that the crime was committed because technically you really can't prove if somebody did something to you like, like, they can say they did a filler, and they can show you I did this filler, but maybe they did something else to you, right? But how, that's you'll true. never know unless there's, like, evidence. So I'm not sure how that works, but who knows if that's going to come into play. It's just interesting. Man, but... that, that was terrifying, though. Yeah, just moral of this, uh, this episode. Never piss off a doctor, your doctor or any doctor who's going to put you under, because you don't know what's going to happen. Especially a plastic surgeon, yeah, bro. for sure. Um, they could do whatever the fuck they want to you. Yeah, literally, and they might they can make it so that you can never understand because they have those skills. So now your mind is filled with uh, <laughs> torment plus silicone or some shit. Yeah, somewhere, <laughs> somewhere you don't want. Somewhere you don't want silicone at. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was a pretty wild episode. Interesting to see how we pick off the next one. But that's gonna do it for us. Let us know in the comments what you all thought of this. Don't forget to drop that like down below. And like Harris mentioned in the beginning, we do have a Patreon. So if you are interested in seeing our full length reaction to this. And the other shows on the channel, you could just check out our link down below. We could also find other shows that are not on our YouTube. Yeah, anything you want to wrap up? No, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching The Glory with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, join the Patreon, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.